Well, scouts were swarming all over Finley Stadium today as a handful of Mox players were looking to open the door to a shot at the big time. Oh, yeah. Dave Staley now joins us in Ringgold with that story and more on what's happening tonight at the Colonnade. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hi, Calvin. Hi, everybody. Yes, welcome to the Colonnade here in Ringgold, getting ready for the annual North Georgia Banquet for FCA, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Our own David Glenn is the MC of tonight's event. Dave, hurry up. Come on down. They're waiting for you. Also, the guest speaker is Sid Bream, the former first baseman, uh, first baseman rather, of the Atlanta Braves. Remember, it's the 25-year anniversary of the slide. Sid is here. He's signing some autographs. He's going to be behind me in a few minutes. Uh, uh, saying hi to the folks, you know, pats on the back, handshakes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We will talk with Sid. You'll see that interview tonight at 10 and 11, right here on the News Channel. However, right now it's time to talk football. Johnny Madewell was at Finley Stadium today. Pro day for the mocks. Always a big day. Here's Mr. Madewell's report. Cincinnati Bengals D-line coach Jacob Bernie shouted commands at Keontae Davis. Bernie's a Mox alum and pushed Davis and Vantrell McMillan through various speed, strength, and agility drills. Uh, I think I came out did pretty good. Uh, you know, I left it all out here. You know, I had a lot of motivation for not being able to perform at the combine. But he did at Finley. Keontae benched 225 pounds 30 times, and he says he turned in a 4.71 40-yard dash, probably his fastest. Scouts from several NFL teams watched closely. Many teams have talked to Davis. They look beyond the physical attributes. It's, it's more than just football sometimes. You got to see what type of person you are. And so this is a million dollar investment. So they got to make sure what they're giving you is worth it. So they don't want no head cases and things like that. So I got to make sure I show them I got a level head and I can handle anything. Corey Levin also performed at the combine. He went through O-line drills today. The personable lineman liked his performance. He too has talked to a few teams. They all pretty much say the same thing. They, they like how I move and I'm smart and I can play different positions. Other mocks like Derek Crane and Tommy Hudson gave it a shot. Nakivian Leslie looks smooth in his 40 yard dash. CJ Board turned some heads with his time. They may not get drafted, but still attract interest. These drills could play a part in determining if they move from Finley Stadium to a field for pay. Of course, they won't know until the end of April. All I need is one, so that's all I'm hoping for, just one team. I'm going to do everything I can to uh, become a better football player in this next month. A dream for every player out here. John Madewell, News Channel 9 Sports. All right, Johnny, thank you. Big day for the mocks. Tonight at 10 and 11, we'll talk some more football. We'll talk a little boxing tonight at the Convention uh, and Trade Center. And also, we'll hear from Mr. Sid Bream. I'm going to go talk to Sid right now. That's the story right now from the Colonnade here in Ringgold. As always, Dave Staley, News Channel 9 Sports, Kim, Calvin, and Dave. Back to you. Dave, okay. come on down. Hurry. They're waiting for you. <laughs>